today I'm going to show you how to make this faux mother of pearl technique. This was on my blog a few weeks ago, and I had a lot of people asking me um, how this technique was done. Between bringing parents to the hospital and spring break, it's been a while, so um, I'm finally getting to it today. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique back here. You're going to start with a piece of our Whisper White cardstock. And you're going to need an empty stamp box, or it can have stamps in it, it doesn't matter. And you're going to want to use our Frost White uh, Shimmer Paint. And you're going to shake that up good. Um, just like any paint, you want to make sure it gets shook up good. And you're going to put a little drop of that. Come on. On the box. Then you're going to take some saran wrap or uh, plastic, it doesn't matter. Squish it up and you're just going to pounce a little bit and then you're going to pounce on that card stack. You want more, just pick up some more, pounce around. Each time it'll be different depending on how much of the paint gets on the card stack. So that looks good. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, shimmery. Um, we're going to let that dry. We're going to just set that aside. You can hit heat set it, but we're going to just set it aside to dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to show you how to take the Tulips Impressions folder. You know, it's normal card size. I'm going to show you how to make it smaller. So we're going to bring in our Big Shot. back this out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. I got my plate here, tab, and then I'm going to take my tulip and my Baja Breeze and we're going to place this in all the way to the back of the folder. Close it up, put the plate on top, and run it through. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to open that up and we're going to just turn it around, let the little notches fall back in where they were, close up your plate, put the cover back on and we're going to wheel it through just until we feel it hit that plate. It'll just kind of jump up a little bit and then we're going to back off. Pull it back out, and there you have all the way around. Oops. So you can see it goes all the way around, smaller. Pretty cool, huh? Sorry about that loud knock. So we're going to start. Our card stack was cut four and a quarter by eight and a half. You fold it in half and you have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of card stock or a card. I've matted the black on here already. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick our Baja Breeze with a little tulip edge. Place that on here. Okay, and now this is pretty dry. It's a little tacky, but it's good enough. I'm going to take our Baja Breeze ink and a sponge, and we're going to get that, and we're just going to swirl over the top. And this, the Baja Breeze is just going to go down where we didn't get the paint. So every time it will be different. So you can see the shimmer and the blue behind. Now we're going to take our stays on ink and we're going to take the sprig of flowers from the Easter Blossom stamp set from the Occasions Mini and we're going to ink that up. You want to make sure you get it good and inked. And then we 
are going to stamp that towards the top. Mmm, nice. Now we're going to take our rose red ink and you might want to smoosh it like this and that will give you ink in your lid. Or you can put some re-anchor in there. And we're going to take our blender pen. And what you're going to do is you're going to just color each of these little blossoms in with the rose red ink. You're going to do all of them on there. After that, you're going to come in with the white gel pen and just color in the little centers. When you're done, it'll look something like this. So now we're going to take this, and I have the Sending Springtime Smiles. I'm going to ink that up and stamp that in the corner here, like that. Okay, now we're going to put adhesive, and we're going to put that on this little bit bigger piece of black. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crocodile and I want the smaller hole on the side here. And I'm just going to come in a little ways and punch a hole. Then I want to come in with my ribbon. And we're just going to tie a bow. take the time to make it all pretty. Now we're going to flip that over and put a dimensional in each one of the corners. Place that in between all our little tulip buds there. You want to trim up your ribbon ends. And there you go, faux mother of pearl, quick and easy. Thanks for stopping by.